welcome particularly to, to Gallows Wharf. Um, what we have here is uh, the Gallows Wharf, which is a very, very historic part of the, of the canal. The, the Gallows Wharf was here dating right back from the, the beginning of the canal, back in the 1797. And uh, this, the Gallows so named because this is the site of the Gallows, not 50 yards away, which was the, the site of the last three people to be hung in Litchfield for uttering and forging banknotes. But we won't dwell too much on that. But, but the intention is to restore the, the Gallows Wharf and uh, put a garden of reflection as part of that. And, it's, and the wharf will be part of the entry for the, uh, for the Litchville in Bloom and Britain in Bloom series. And we have an enormous amount of work to do. We have yet to build the wharf, we have yet to build the flower beds, and we have yet to fill them up with soil, and we have yet to plant them with some flowers and shrubs and the like. So there's a lot of work to do between now and the 26th of July. So watch this space. We also have today, we have on the other side, we have set a small bench in place, kindly donated by the Mayor of Litchfield, Janice Greaves. That is gone in with a flower bed with some trellis round it. And uh, that's, that's a taster of what, what we're doing here. So today really is the project launch of the Litchfield in Bloom work that we're doing at Gallows Wharf. Here we have the, the launch, a bench kindly donated by the Mayor of Litchfield, Councillor Janice Greaves, and uh, we're on this bench. Janice is here with us today, and yep, polishing, polishing the uh, the brass right. label, the plaque. She's going to do that every week. I'm going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's I right. Am, definitely. Um, would you like to say a few words? Well, just like to welcome everybody here Pulling today. And this is the launch of the Gallows Wharf Garden of Reflection. And I hope many people stop along here or sit here and reflect. Thank you. And can I, can I also add that we, we thank so much um, Colin Greatrex of Staffs County Council um, who has uh, provided a grant that kick-started this, this work off. In fact, literally only two months ago, eight weeks ago, this was there was nothing here no flower beds no screens nothing no trellis none of the wharf you see behind you that is is in, under construction this is all being carried out by our own volunteers with the kickstart money from staffs county council we're really really pleased and thankful for Co councillor colin great tricks and and his his grant it's two months since we started these guys have worked like mad to get it to this stage now and we expect you to carry on working like mad because we want further progress but no serious thanks to these guys for fantastic work thank you okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's some soil over there no, okay. shovel it shovel off <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. All level the contained. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That's brilliant. Thank you. And in addition, down the other side of uh, the chip shop there, we actually have a narrowboat in the, in the channel which we'll be making with local Thank schools you, and so with, with a number of the other groups of children that the, the Trust work with. And so that's, that's another section of the Litchfield in Bloom entry. Right, we actually have here the outline of a 70 foot narrowboat done by Peter and we're going to create a mock-up narrowboat which is bedecked with flowers so um, 
Tony C has made the cabin and that will be slightly raised up. Uh, the front end of the boat is up there. There'll be load space as there was on a working boat in the middle and this end will be covered in flowers. The bow end will be covered in flowers. If you've got time, we'll get flowers in the load area, but I think we may be making it look like a load of coal. Um, making the sides of the boat, because those are straight or fairly straight, we can use the pallet wood that City Council has found for us. But to do the curvy bits, we're using willow that we've got from one of our other sites. And these youngsters are going to be weaving what are really willow hurdles to form certainly the stern end, which is semicircular, and the curvy bits on the front end. I'm not a boater, but I think. The, the, and it's all to do with Litchfield in bloom. Right now, I've got Forrester's scouts here um, helping us to make a start and learning a little bit about soaring things, chopping things and bashing things in the ground and I hope I've been watching them enough that they're doing it safely but I know I've got a dad who's keeping an eye on what's happening uh, while my back's turned. Right, shall we do, when, when, what we're going to do is cut these to the right height when I've got the designer proper.